Congressman Louis Gilmert, thank you for 18 years of valiant service in Congress representing East Texas. We know that that service, though, has come with a lot of sacrifice, not just here, but in Washington, D.C., and not just for you, but for Kathy and the girls. We here in East Texas are grateful for that sacrifice and for that service. Now that I've been in Washington, D.C. just a little bit since the election, I see the depths of the sacrifice that you've had to make the grinding schedule day after day that you've had to endure, the conditions of sleeping in your office and showering in the, in the athletic facility, something that most people back home don't think about day to day. The time away from Kathy and the girls, equally a major sacrifice for you and for them. And for that, we're grateful because if it weren't for that sacrifice, the service could have never happened. I can't wait to see what God has in store for you in the next phase of your life and in your service to this country and to Texas and to East Texas in particular. Praying for that direction for you and that doors will be opened so that you can continue to be a voice for conservatism. Thank you, Louie. Louie, congratulations on your retirement. You're a warrior, you're a patriot, you love the Constitution, you love freedom, and for 18 years, you have defended East Texas, you've defended the entire state of Texas, you've defended the entire country with ferocious determination in the United States Congress. I gotta tell you, Louie, you and I, we've traveled all across the country. This place is not gonna be the same without you. Without your spirit, your joy, your fire, your tenacity, your crazy sense of humor. I gotta say, Louie, I just wonder how things would have been if you'd ever come out of your shell, if you'd ever actually decided to tell people what you think, wow, that would have been something else. I appreciate everything you do. And let me just promise you this, now that you're back in Texas, no one will ever again cast aspersions on your asparagus. We love you, Louie. Hi, my name is Wade Miller, and I am the Executive Director for Citizens for Renewing America. I was also a former Chief of Staff for Congressman Chip Roy. So I've been in DC and I've seen how things go here on a daily basis for quite a while now. And I just wanna thank Congressman Gomer for everything he has done, uh, both before I got here to DC and, and since. And I just wanna, like, everyone sees the Fox News stuff and they see what Congressman Gomer says and all of the, the freedom fighters in DC, what they are saying publicly, but a lot of you all don't see what happens in DC behind closed doors. And let me just say that Congressman Gomer just doesn't fight this fight on the House floor. He is fighting, he has always been fighting for you all behind closed doors. You know, when, when cameras aren't there, still fighting the right fight, not just saying what needs to be said publicly, but actually putting his, where, where, his money where his mouth is behind the scenes. And I'll say he was fighting the deep state before we call it the deep state. He was fighting wokeness in America, uh, woke and weaponized government before we call it woke and weaponized government. He really created a path here that others have filled in, thankfully. We now have you know, Chip Roy, uh, Michael Cloud, Dan Bishop, you know, uh, Andy Biggs, and, and so many more. I could name a dozen others that have come in and now see what Congressman Gomer has been saying for decades now that America really hasn't been awake to. And now they're waking up and now more elected representatives are seeing the value in the fight that Representative Gomer was trying to wage here and to to great success. I think the greatest success in the enduring legacy of what he has done here in DC are all those who are here now who are picking up the fight, whether that's members or staff. There's been a revolutionary, you know, a revolutionary change in the way staff here in DC think. And that's important too. I can't tell you how many times I've been in chiefs meetings where Gomer's chief was there fighting a fight and we saw other Republican chiefs rolling their eyes because they just had no idea what time it is. And now they're not rolling their eyes. I think now they've figured out they've been on the wrong side of this and that being in DC isn't just about spending cuts and regulatory reform, it's about saving America and its culture and actually fighting for the principles of the Constitution. That is a fight that Congressman Gomer has been waging for a long time and that is a fight now that others are gonna be picking up and it, it doesn't end with Congressman Gomer's retirement, it's just beginning.
And so thank you very much for everything you've done, Congressman Gomer. And we know this isn't the end of you being in the fight, uh, but I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart and to all of the people who have supported Congressman Gomer all of these years and stood by him. Thank you to you as well. I'm so thankful to have an opportunity to honor my friend Louis Gohmert as he, uh, unfortunately for the conservative movement and all of us who love freedom, is departing Congress. Um, I first met to him when I was working in, in Capitol Hill, and I will tell you that uh, Congressman Gohmert has been a prophetic voice within the conservative movement for a very long time. And the country is now awakening to what he has been articulating for a long time and thankfully uh, the country is waking up to do something about it and so Louis we love you we have respected you for a very long time I know that you are going to be doing a great many things to help save this country in its late hour I hope you get some rest along the way uh, and enjoy uh, your lovely Texas which I'm making this video from so uh, look forward to seeing you soon and uh, I just want to say thank you for all that you did when you served in Congress. Hey everybody, to all my friends in East Texas, I wish I could be there with you tonight, and I mean that. Uh, I would love to be nowhere else than to be honoring and celebrating Louis Gomer. Obviously, I'm filming here from the U.S. Capitol. Uh, unfortunately, I'm going to be in D.C. through Friday and unable to join you, but there is no greater public servant, no kinder, more honest, a more patriotic individual that I've ever had the pleasure to serve with in public service. Um, it is such a great honor to have served in the U.S. Congress with Louis Gomer. He is a mentor. He is a friend. He is, in the words of Dan Bishop, our colleague, a hero. He is someone I looked up to before I ever got to Congress. And he's someone whose counsel I will seek continually in the future, Louis. And we are so honored to have had you representing Texas. And we're so honored of what you did in leaving your job in Congress and trying to stand up to do what was right for Texas. That's who you are. It's who you've been from your service in the military to serving as a judge to serving in Congress. I got to tell you, we're going to miss you. We're going to miss the Louis Gohmert hour. I'm going to try to carry that forward on the floor of the House. And I hope I can at least do some justice to all that you've done for us. And you got to come back and bring your ribs because we need them back here in Washington. God bless you all. I wish I could be there. We're going to be fighting for you and carrying Louie's legacy going forward. I was just meeting with him just now. We're going to be fighting to honor Louie going forward and represent you all and represent Texas. God bless. Congressman Gomer, Ginny Thomas, I'm just so sad that you're leaving public service for the public out here, but for you, I'm so glad you get a little bit of your life back after all the travel and the hassle, but God knows you represented real America, people who love this country and, lo and knew what was right. You were always strong, you were always bold, you were always clear and you did your research and you did everything right and you were always the one that we watched. So I hope a lot of other members follow your lead. Look, here's somebody else coming close. <laughs> Who is this? Our Congressman, thank you for your public service and thank you for your friendship for my bride and for me over the years. Uh, I hope you enjoy being back in Texas and spending time with your family and your friends. Again, thank you so much. Love you. Love you now. Bye. Good morning, sir. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you for everything that you've done for me and my family. You had faith in my mother, assisted her in getting me home. You've helped out countless other service members through your dedication, through your faith, through your you know, just desire to see injustice stamped out. And you know, because of you, I had the opportunity to come home to work on Capitol Hill and to assist other service members who were wrongfully accused and incarcerated. And that is all because of your faith and your desire um, to help others. And so because of you, I'm standing out in front of my home that I purchased in February. Um, none of that would have been possible without your assistance. So sir, I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. 
and I love you. Let me say this too and about my dear friend Louis Gomer. He's one of a kind and for many incredibly important reasons. The man is courageous, the man is brilliant, the man is a leader. And he'll be missed on Capitol Hill because there are not enough of those, I can tell you that. And I want to thank Louis Gohmert for all he's done all these years. I want to thank him for his phone calls to me and his phone calls onto my radio show. I want to thank him for putting up with the people who viciously attack him in the media and in the other party. But you can know going home to Texas, Louis Gohmert, that you served your country as a great patriot. And millions and millions of us won't forget it. It's been an honor to have you as a friend, and I look forward to continuing that for the decades to come. God bless you. Louis Gomer, Paul Teller here. Gonna miss you. I'm so grateful for your service to America and the conservative movement, and frankly, to me personally. You might not remember this, but when I was fired from the RSC, the very next day, you, Steve King, and Michelle Bachman huddled with me in Mr. King's office just to talk about my next steps in the conservative world and how I could keep serving America. I will always be grateful for that. I'll always remember that kindness, and I'll always remember your service to America. Thank you, good sir. To my dear, dear friend, Louis Gomer, thank you for amazing years you served this country. Uh, I only got to go to a State of the Union address because you invited me as a guest. I'll never forget your kindness or your generosity. Uh, you are an American hero, a patriot, a great friend, and I don't know why you're retiring. I'm going to make a prediction. In six months, you're going to regret it, and guess what? You're going right back to Congress, and you will win that seat back. Uh, but whatever you decide to do, Louie, we wish you all of God's blessings. Uh, we've been on the campaign trail together. We've been out and about together. And you are a great human being on top of everything else. We love you. God bless you. Louie Gomer. Hey, Congressman, I just wanted to record a short video and say thank you so much for everything that you've done for me and for my brothers and sisters in arms over the years. I'm recording this video from my law school classroom where I've got about nine months left until I graduate. And I wanted you to know that I would not be here where I am today if it weren't for you and for your warrior spirit. And so uh, I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart um, for everything that you have done and I'm sure you'll continue to do. I'm looking forward to see what's next for you. Um, and uh, I just wanna say God bless you and thank you so much. Louis, you're going to be missed. You were an unbelievable warrior for the cause. I'll never forget what you did for me. When I was running as an underdog, you always showed up at the fundraisers for us. You always showed up at events. You spoke to everyone. Everyone knew you were a gentleman. You've been a warrior for freedom. You've been a warrior. You were going to be really, really missed up there. The movement's going to be far different without you. It's a big loss. Well, I shouldn't say without you. You're not going anywhere, but up on the hill, you were really a tactical weapon in the fight for freedom. Thanks for everything you did for the cause and for me. I so deeply appreciate it. Godspeed. Louie, we are going to truly miss you and we wish you all the best. I can remember the first time that I ever heard of Louie Gomert from Texas was uh, when he was giving this long speech on C-SPAN, you know, and, and I looked around and there, there was nobody in the audience, but actually I was tuned in and uh, being a business guy, I hadn't followed politics too much, but I can tell you that I was so wrong about you, Louie. I realized that you should not be known for long speeches on the C-SPAN floor. You should be known for your barbecue ribs. Thank you so much for being a great chef and for always making sure that Nancy Pelosi would pull her hair out because you were barbecuing out on the balcony. Take care. God bless. We're going to miss you. You know, there are some people that you hope leave Congress and you wish they had never even got there. Then there are others. Well, one or two others. One of them that I know is America's congressman, Louis Gohmert. Why is he American? Con well, he's America's congressman because he does things that a lot of people don't. He reads the bills. He actually reads the legislation. How do I know that? I've been on the phone with him at all hours of the night. Hey, I'm in the middle of reading this bill. I'm in the middle of reading that bill. You ask him specific questions, he can give you answers to it. 
I know it because Louie and I are friends. We're friends. We've been friends. No, we're not friends. We're like brothers. Louis is like a brother to me. This is a man that I implicitly trust. I know his heart. I know who he is, one of the most wonderful human beings that you will ever want to meet. This is a man that is devoted to everything that he does. He's devoted to America. He's devoted to our system, our way of life, our system of justice. This is a man who is deeply passionate about what he knows is the right thing to do and he does it. This is a man who is a family man. His family is beautiful. Most of all, Louis is a man about love. He loves this country, he loves his family, and I love Louis. I love you, Louis Gohmert. Wish you would stay in, no I don't. I'm glad you're gone from Congress now. You have proven what a great congressman you can be. Now it's time for you to tackle the next chapter in your career and your life, and I know they're gonna be great. Representative Louis Gohmert, congrats on your retirement. You've earned it. We're gonna miss you in the swamp, but know that you'll still be in the field of battle. You're a tireless fighter for our republic, our freedoms, and you know what? Always our war fighters. You represent all of them. Thank you for always having our back. They don't make enough of them like you, and we are grateful for your courage. In the next chapter, I know I'll see you on the high ground. You are full of integrity, a patriot, a fighter, and most of all, a generous Christian man. What a distinguished record you have compiled in Congress. I know your future is going to be even brighter as you continue to fight for this country like the patriot you are. I am so honored to be able to call you my friend. God bless. Louis, Jim DeMent here. We're so sorry to see you leave Congress, but so happy that you were here and the difference that you made. I especially appreciate you constantly reminding us that no country has ever been successful that did not worship God. And we're also thankful that you did things the right way and reminded us that there was no statute of limitations on doing the right thing. You said a lot of wonderful things. I Googled them today and got so many great quotes. I'd love to repeat them. But I'm just very grateful that you always just told it like it was and you were not afraid to say what needed to be said. We'll miss you but I'm sure we'll see you out around the country and I'm sure you'll continue to make a difference at whatever you do in the future. Look, let's face it, there's nobody like Louis Gohmert. He's the best and he's my friend and he's always been loyal and he is really, really special. So I just want to say that what an honor it is that we work together. We will be working together in the future. I have absolutely no doubt about it, but Louis, Congratulations on an incredible career for what that is, because you are going to go on to even bigger and better things, and that's hard to do because you've had a life like few others have had. But you're a loyal, brilliant man, and we love having you on our side. The Republicans need you. They need a little strength. They need a little toughness because they don't have enough. And you just keep fighting. We love you, Louie.